Getting ready to work on the pivot point for the rudder pedals. For that, you need some one by three by eight inch rectangular tube. First thing we need to do is cut it at six and a half, so I'll mark that, run it through the bandsaw. Next, we need to cut this into a triangle shape and leave about a little over a half inch here. And then the bolt will go through here for the uh, pedal assembly to pivot. So I'll mark that out and back to the bandsaw. Now there's the lines in it that we need to cut. I'm going to cut it slightly wide so I can uh, finish it with the belt sander, get rid of all the cut marks out of it. Okay, the piece is uh, sanded down, deburred all the edges. So all we need is a hole right here, which would end up being a 3 16 hole for a a and 3 bolt needs to be 2.188 down from the flat edge there. So I took the calipers, set them, made a mark across there. Then found the center line with this. Used my handy little ruler there. Found the center line and then made another mark. So X marks the spot. I'll center punch it and then we'll drill through there. Okay, we've got the hole drilled in the pivot. Right now we need to work on the rudder bar that I built the other day. We'll need to put a 3 16 hole in the exact center of it. And then we'll also need to put a hole over here for the connecting rod. As you can see, I left the one side unriveted so we can just pop it off. That way we can slide it through and fasten everything up. I'll go ahead and mark the center here, drill it, and we can fit it and drill the hole over here, and then we can fit it together. Then the hole is drilled in the center of the rod here. Hole is also drilled over here for the connecting rod, and that can slide on. So we can go ahead and test fit this, slide that through. bolt through and we have a pivoting rudder assembly. Now you do have to space that out with some washers. Now I think we can take this to the fuselage. We can put it up against the firewall and get it drilled. Okay this piece needs to go right along that rivet line and as you can see I didn't read far enough ahead in the plans. And I went ahead and finished rivet those. So we'll have to drill those uh, seven rivets out. And those are just solid, solid rivets that I put in there now, like the rest of it. I think we're supposed to use those uh, stainless steel pull rivets to fasten this in place. So I'll get these drilled out and then we can mark and drill this. All the rivets are out. That was slightly more difficult than, driven, uh, than drilling out a pull type rivet because it doesn't have an automatic center hole to start with. What I did was just use my little center punch on the flathead, the flattened side of the rivet, marked them all, then drilled just about to where you would get, and using an eighth inch drill bit because these are eighth inch rivets, drilled down just about to where you would think it would be at the angle but didn't try to drill all the way through in case it was off to one side. And then I just took a flat chisel and gave them a little tap. That would knock the head off and then you could just push them right on through. So now what we need to do is mark the center line of this, put it up on there and drill and Clico it into place. Okay, I've got, got center line marked and then a spot in the center. So I'm going to center punch that. I'm going to go ahead and drill that one hole. I held it up against the uh, firewall. Everything end to end should be fine. So I get the center one in, then I clico it in place, and then line up the center line with the hole and drill the rest. And right, I've got two 
drilled in clear coat. I can see the line down in the hole, so I can just go ahead and finish drilling the other five, and that will be done. And this piece is all drilled and deburred, so we need to go figure out the washer spacing to hold the rudder pedal, and then this could be mounted on solid. So anyway, we've got that clear coat in place. Pretty solid, but there is still a bracket that we need to make out of sheet metal that goes from here and rivets up into the firewall. I figured out the spacing I need on the washers to put this in. So as soon as we get that bracket built, we can go ahead and bolt the rudder pedal in place. This is the bracket to reinforce the uh, rudder pedal assembly. So we've got that cut out of 20,000 sheet. Now we just need to fold it up along these lines. Then that tab will bend up a little bit to bolt onto the pivot. And this tab bends up and rivets to the firewall. All right, the bracket is basically in place. Got the 3 16 hole you drilled there. Once you get it figured out how you want it with the angles, we'll come in and drill on each side here. Put an AVEX rivet there. And then we can drill at the top and rivet it in there. When I went to drill through this to connect those two pieces, I may have cut the angle. Well, it's not the angle. I may have made the little channel there where it bends a little too wide. But there's just hardly any material to catch both pieces. Just the way the angle is. If I folded it into a 90, it would be no problem. But then it wouldn't line up the bulkhead. So what I did is just made two little baby gussets. And I'll put a rivet on top. And the bottom on each side and that will keep it in shape. Okay the little brace is in there and it surprisingly does quite a bit to stiffen that up. Here's without it being fastened. You've got quite a bit of flex there and here is with it clear coat in place. Much stiffer. Well, what you're hearing there is because I don't have the, a nut on the back side of this but when it is bolted together it's not going anywhere so i'm kind of glad i actually built the little gussets for the side next up the plans call for a little sheet metal washer to keep the bolt from turning we just cut out a little piece of scrap there put that in we drop the bolt in get it fastened then we'll just reach in with a pick and pull the back side of that up and squeeze it against one of the flats on the bolt and the bolt won't turn because this can't turn in there it is bolted in Ended up tabs been up there to hold the bolt. Ended up using two 973, the large, the large flat washers. Use two of those underneath the bar and one on top of the bar, and that gets it pretty snug. Well, it's not snug, but you don't. I'm assuming you don't want it tight. It doesn't have much play in it. Underneath, we used a, I used a 96010, one of the small washers and then a tassel nut and a cotter pin if that'll focus so now we can put on the pedal on the other side we'll end up putting some bump stops there just something to keep it from rubbing on the firewall or whacking the firewall as soon as we've got the rod all done to the tail got the rudder on we can measure how much throw we have on it since you got to have 30 degrees each direction and we'll check all that then I'll put something to cushion that all right and there you are completed rudder assembly I resisted the urge to finish rivet that stuff on because as long as it's clear coat on I can take the entire assembly off if there's some reason I need to so I'll probably rivet that you know I'll make sure 
once we have the rod and the rudder on that I have the right amount of travel. If I needed more travel for some reason, you could always round off the back corner of those pedals. And that would be a lot easier if you could pull the whole assembly out and take it to the belt sander. One other thing is this bar right here that connects the two pedals. The last deal that, I think it was their newsletter that Hummel sent out, they had said that that bar in some ultra cruisers, they had noticed it was getting bent. Whether they were pushing with both feet or pushing on it, climbing in, whatever, it was getting bent. So their solution was to put angler channel on the back riveted to that. I did not do that because this tubing is supposed to be 49 thousandths wall thickness and I couldn't find any of that when I was looking so that tubing is actually 62 thousandths so it's a little bit thicker wall so hopefully it won't bend and I'll just try not to uh, shove real hard with both feet all right that's going to end it for this video next video we'll start on the linkage going back through the bulkhead see you then